Buongiorno. We're having, uh, this is the seventh amp that I'm building for the guy currently at the camera. Uh, we're hoping this is going to be the good one, the good one for all time. It's based on the Avondale NCC 300 module. It's in Voyager configuration, which means it has a separate power supply for the input stage and the output stage. And it's also dual mono, which means there are four separate power supplies in this. We have two 400 volt amp Antec uh, uh, toroidal transformers there for the output stages on each side. We have this little guy here that is a single 50 volt amp uh, toroidal uh, with four separate sets of secondary so we can create two center tapped things. Um, we have of course you can see here's a an Avondale cap 6. Underneath it is another cap 6. You can see there's also mini cap and mini cap on the other side. Uh, that's for the input stage. Of course, the big cap six for the output stage. The cap sixes, you'll notice, does not have any chokes on it. Uh, it's straight through because the output stage wants lots of current. It wants it fast. But the input stage does have the, the, the I think it's 12 millihenry chokes uh, between each stage of capacitor. I have done upgrades on the um, regulator stages here. There was an extra trans uh, capacitor here which has now been removed. Um, this resistor has been removed and changed to a wire link. And then this little ceramic capacitor that you can see there was a 10 uh, nanofarad has been changed to a 330 picofarad uh, based upon various conversations I had with people that this would be the way to go. So these amps originally were in the fourth iteration of an amplifier for Mark. Worked well, we then up updated them to an SE200. The SE200 is fantastic, but we've discovered that unfortunately, it, even though it's a fantastic sounding amp, does sound a little bit better than the NCC300, a bit more lyrical, but it doesn't work well with hard to drive speakers. Uh, so we then moved to the Orchard. Star Crimson. Uh, that one has no difficulty driving the speakers, but unfortunately was missing that very important factor of boogie pace, rhythm, and timing, whatever you want to call it. Some people think it isn't any such thing. Some people think that every stereo has that, but the, the point is there is a difference. So we're back to the NCC 300, which we're pretty sure is going to do a better job of driving those difficult to drive speakers. Um, what else is here? Uh, this also doesn't use all Avondale components. Uh, there is a soft start module in here from Neurochrome. I started building Neurochrome amps at one point. I built the NCC, I'm uh, sorry, Neurochrome um, uh, modulus uh, 686, which was a very good amp, but unfortunately, again, didn't have the pace, rhythm, and timing that we liked, but in all other regards, was an exceedingly good amp. Uh, so we've gone through a lot of different things to try here. Uh, in the back, you'll notice, um, once it goes through all the different little pieces, it eventually jumps onto the uh, little, I think it's XRK. Um, speaker protection modules. Uh, this being one of the earlier amps, I had not yet discovered uh, the uh, 24 millimeter hole punch. So you notice that these are terrible, ugly, horrible holes here and that I had to use washers to kind of just jimmy everything in. But this one particular hole for the 12 volt trigger, which is one of the features that the Neurochrome Intelligent Soft Start does, that's a beautiful looking hole because I've got the right tool for the job now. So we are just in the process of closing up this baby, making it happen. Uh, the next step after we get the, the case all put together is to set the uh, regulated voltages on the input stage here and here. Uh, and then we'll hook it all up and then set the bias current uh, and uh, double check the offset voltages and such things. And hopefully we don't see any smoke come out because if magic smoke comes out, Mark won't be able to take his amp home with him when he returns back later this week. So there you go. A little bit of a trial and tribulation, but a whole lot of fun along the way. And hey, there you go. Take care. Oh.